Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Brittany Panzarella and I am on the marketing team here at Kiss Products. Thank you all so much for being here today for the first masterclass of our Nailed It With Kiss series. This will be a series throughout the year to show you all the best tips and tricks for your DIY manis using all of our top selling kits. Today we will have our host showing you our new product, our gel press starter kit that is available now at CVS and KissUSA.com. As we dive in, please feel free to connect with us in the chat. We love the questions and comments. We do have some community managers here from KISS today that will be in the chat monitoring all your questions and comments, but we also will have a Q&A session at the end of the class to try to answer as many questions as possible. With that being said, I would like to introduce our host, nail enthusiast and YouTube star, Long Hair Pretty Nails, who will be walking you through the product in more detail and share some of her favorite tips and tricks. Welcome, Evie. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, Brittany. Thank you so much for having me. I am so happy to be here. As you know, I've been using Kiss products in my videos for years, so I am so happy to help introduce the new gel press starter kit. <laughs> so today I'm going to be using this kit. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to apply and we're going to have some fun and I'm going to show you my tips and tricks along the way. So if you don't know about gel press, where have you been? Like, have you even watched my gel press YouTube video? <laughs> but this kit is changing the game because it guarantees up to 21 days of wear. That is three weeks. But that's, of course, if you apply it correctly, your primer, your prep, you got to do all of that for you to get your three weeks. But I'm going to walk you through all that, so don't worry. So this kit comes with the primer, the gel, and the mini LED lamp. And this is what the mini LED lamp looks like. It's the perfect size for carrying each nail, but my favorite feature is the on and off switch. <laughs> I know that is so simple, but some of y'all know how I feel about that. All right, so as y'all can see, my nails are about 80% done. <laughs> I have two nails to do, and I'm gonna walk you through that. We're gonna do those. I'm gonna do those nails with you. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure to wipe your nails with acetone. So I'm going to take a lint-free wipe. You can take paper towel or whatever you have. It's better if it's lint-free though. But since I got acetone on here, I'm going to try not to mess up my other nails because they are too cute. So we're going to go ahead and just wipe these nails off. This ensures that, you know, all the oils, the lotions, nail polish residue, we want a clean surface, okay? So next, I'm gonna take the manicure stick and this comes inside the kit as well. I feel like I need to zoom in a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so then, oh, I zoomed in a little too much, my bad. All right, but you just want to lightly push back your cuticles. We wanna expose as much of the nail as possible so we can get us a good hold. And we're going to do the same thing on the thumb. So a lot of y'all was telling me how y'all picked up y'all kits and y'all following along. So we're going to have a good time. <laughs> All right. So next, you want to take your hand file. This is the file that comes in the kit. And can we just appreciate that they gave us a full, large file? Like, some of them kids be coming with them any beanie files and it's like, uh, <laughs> but this is much easier to work with. So thank you kids for listening. So with this, you just want to lightly file the surface of the nail, not too rough, but we do want to take the shine away. And we also want to uh, file around the cuticle area. We want to get up all of that dead skin on the nail. Um, this, you know, I know, you know, when you first get these kits and you just want to dive in and put the nails on, but prep is so important. Like a lot of people tell me that their nails pop off the day after. I'm not saying you didn't do anything wrong, but <laughs> if you prep, your nails are going to last up to three weeks. What well, good prep, it could last more though. All right, so, and if you want to, you can file the uh, free edge of your nail. Y'all know I don't really like my nails to show through like that, so I'm gonna just round this out a little bit. This one's pretty short. And we gonna fix that like that. 
all right that's looking good okay so next you want to wipe your nails with alcohol so let me go ahead and grab my wipe I really need to put this alcohol into a smaller container <laughs> but it's cool y'all get the point so we're just gonna take a little bit of alcohol and we're gonna wipe for one we want to wipe away the dust but this also acts as a dehydrator we want the nails you know dry <laughs> Um, you know, that is good because we want the gel to actually like bond with the nail. We want a good hold. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all know it's Saturday. School is out. Kids are, kids are loud. <laughs> um, but yeah, we want a, you know, a dry nail so the gel can bond to it. That's how you're going to get your three weeks of wear. All right. So now that we got that done, it's time to pick out our tips. As y'all can see, I'm rocking coffin because, oh, it's just... It has a choke hold on me but this kit does come with square and coffin nails and they are shaped beautifully because they are the pre-sculpted so i already got my thumb and my index finger picked out and the most important thing with sizing these tips though is you want to make sure the nail fits from sidewall to sidewall you know i kind of preach that all the time but in order for you to get your your wear like the nails have to fit so i'm just double checking to make sure that these fit pretty well um okay so this one does have i'm not sure if y'all saw that but this one does have a little bit of like hanging on this side you don't want that because if the nails hanging over before you even put the nail on it's not gonna last so i'm just gonna use the other side of the nail to lightly make this the shape of my cuticle and oh that's perfect i like that we're gonna do the same thing for my index fingernail i think it just was a little bit i want to file a little bit on this side so yeah don't skip on this part either okay you have to make sure that these nail tips fit you and if they don't don't be afraid to do some filing we want these to fit and last this is this is important <laughs> okay so we got that oh yeah all right and also when you do file just kind of make sure to kind of get the get the little fuzzies out all right so next we're gonna go in with our primer so as I was showing you guys this kit comes with primer and all you have to do is just put a little bit on the inside of the nail that's what I like about this gel press kit like the steps are simple you don't have to etch the inside or anything so I'm just gonna put a little bit inside kind of where my nail is gonna touch set that down and we're gonna do the same thing for the thumb all right and we're gonna put some on our natural nail as well you don't want to flood the cuticle or anything like that but you do want to make sure you get it all on your nail okay Ooh. and you know it is a chemical so just make sure to not keep it on your skin it's only for your nails all right so that takes about one to two minutes to dry so while that's drying get this hair out of here <laughs> So while that's drying, I just want to talk a little bit about how happy I am to be working with Kiss. Y'all know I've been using Kiss products in my videos for a long time. And who remembers like my first viral video? Like I think it was the Kiss Dip, Dip Powder Nails. That video went crazy. <laughs> but even before that, like when I was learning how to do nails, y'all know I'm not licensed. I'm just a DIY nail enthusiast. So Kiss nail products were the only ones that I can get my hands on. And that's pretty much how I learned how to do nails. So being able to like partner with them on this is just such a full circle moment. It's like so nostalgic. <laughs> but all right, so these should be dry. And now we can go in with our application which is like so much fun for me. Y'all know I love the application of nails. All right, so I'm gonna get my lamp out here. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so we can see everything that I'm doing. All right, so uh, this is the gel adhesive and we're gonna take, well, my first tip is, so for my index finger, it is pretty flat. 
well, you know, it's flat. <laughs> so what I like to do is um, the in the instructions of the kit um, just says just to put the gel on the back of the nail tip and press down. But I find that if like for my flat nails, I need a little bit of help. So what I like to do is just do a very, very thin coat on my nails. I like to get really close to the sides and around the cuticle area. This is going to help the nail like fill in those gaps of like my peaks and valleys of my nail. It's going to make sure that all of that is going to adhere perfectly. And th keep this thin, okay? Don't don't put it too thick. We don't want it to squish out or anything like that. All right. And then we're just going to put a little bit of gel well, you know, not too little, but not too much. It it does take a little bit of practice to know how much to put in there. You know, I tell you guys that all the time. But this one is a bit thicker, so you don't have to use as much as you think. So we're just going to put some in here. I like to start at the cuticle, but then kind of push it a little bit up. I don't want it to squish out too much. I think that should be enough. <laughs> All right, and then try to give myself a little room here. I do like to cut the lamp on first, just to so I'm so I'm just ready, you know. And I'm gonna place my nail like this, and we're gonna just start at the cuticle with constant pressure. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> Make sure I got a good grip. Okay, I'm gonna grip it from this way. So you want to start at the cuticle area and push down to like that. Oh, that's perfect. All right. And then we're going to flash cure for five seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> All right. So at this point, um, the gel is like solid, not solid, but it's not fully cured. So where did that manicure stick go? So if you have any that's like squirted out or anything, you can actually move it. That is one thing I really do like about this kit is that uh, sim similar kits that I've tried, as soon as the gel hits the light, it's like fully hard and you can't, it's not going to move. <laughs> but with this, if you do have any squish out, you can like, you know, get it up. This application was pretty good. So I don't have any, but just know you can get it up. So next, um, I got a little gel on here. I'm going to wipe that off. I don't want to cure <laughs> my fingerprint on the nail, so I'm just going to lightly wipe this off. All right. And then you want to make sure to do your full 60-second cure. Um, although, you know, it does look solid, it's not fully cured. And you're going to get your three weeks of wear once you fully cure. So we're going to let that cure and yeah, let's talk a little bit about gel press. So have y'all tried it yet? Um, you know, my video was probably like a little over a month ago. So I want to know if y'all had time to try it out. If you do, let me know what you think about it in the comments. I really like this kit and some of the things that I like is for one, it's available like locally, like first, you know, of course you can get it from kissusa.com, but if you're in a pinch and you need your nails done real quick, you can swing over to your CVS and pick it up. I want to say this is probably the only one that I've seen in like physical stores. And I also love that the tips are just clear so you can do whatever you want. Um, you can go as, you know, simple or as blingy as you want. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do the same thing to my thumb. I don't typically have a problem with my thumb, but we're going to put a little slip layer on this one as well. You know, just for consistency. But yeah, like I was saying, I like to get really close to the sides. Just to make sure all the gel and the nail is going to just bond beautifully together. all right and then taking so depending on the size of each nail of course the amount that you put in is going to be a little different so for my thumb i usually need just a little bit more 
But like I was saying, as y'all can see, like, look, look how, look how viscous this is. It's really, it's not really thick, but it's thick enough to where it's not going to slide. Let me just brush this up just a little bit. All right. And once again, cut the lamp on. Let me just give y'all a side view, like. So this is what it looks like when you I'm trying to just show y'all that. Oh, see, look, look, look how it just goes. <laughs> it just sticks to the nail. Okay. That was just for y'all. I have to, <laughs> got to do it for me now. All right. Come on, focus. All right. I find that when I, I grip it like this, I get a better grip. Uh -oh. So yeah, at this point, you know, this gel, it really helps to not get any bubbles. But if you happen to get any bubbles, don't, don't, you know, don't fret. Just take it off. Don't cure, but take it off and do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and flash cure this for five seconds. Okay. So, as y'all can see, that one wasn't quite perfect, but this is probably how it's going to be when you first try it out. So, I'm going to show you that you can really, like, you see that? You can move this. It's not hard at all. This is perfect for, like, people starting off. I know people say, I make stuff look easy. Like, look, you can get it up. <laughs> Just with a five-second flash cure, though. So, I'm going to make sure that I got it all gonna get this little piece over here but yeah like I was saying you know it does take a little practice to know how much gel to put on but oh my god look at that I love that you're able to remove the gel because <laughs> y'all know I'll be stuck I'll be having to file it off all right so then we're going to do our full 60 second cure I just love how easy this is to do. I know y'all love me like doing like all these crazy nails and stuff, but you know, in my real life, when I have things to do, I ain't got time for all that. So I just pop these on super, super quick. So yeah, I'm just gonna make sure this has a full 60 second cure. I did use a little bit more gel. So, you know, you know how that go. So how are y'all doing following along? I hope my tips are helping you guys. And let me just show y'all how it looks when just under the lights. Perfect. Or, you know, I like to put it in sideways though, because, you know, my nails are longer. So, <laughs> all right. And then what I like to do is um, just kind of file. Sometimes they have this, this this little nib on the end. So I just want to crisp up this shape. And just to get rid of that little plastic nib. Okay, I need to use this side. Make sure it's getting off. <laughs> and I know a lot of people don't like the long nails, but... Y'all know me, I love the long nails, but you can definitely clip these down after you put them on to whatever shape that you want. All right, so because I did do a little bit of filing, let me go ahead and wipe these nails off. I don't want any dust or anything to get in my polish. So we're just going to give this a wipe. And look at that. All right, so at this point, you can decorate these however you want to. Like I was saying, creativity off the chart. You can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to match what I got going on here. So what I did was just use some uh, some white gel, gel polish. You can use regular gel polish if you want to. You can use whatever you want, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's your nails. You can do what you want. So let me zoom in just a little bit. So... Sorry, I'm trying to try and load my brush right. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do a little quick French here. Like, I just love how easy this is, y'all. 
you know i know real people don't have like four hours <laughs> it takes to do because that's how long it takes me to do my nails we don't have that type of time so this is really really quick and you get salon results at home for the fraction of the cost okay i love how kiss made this really user friendly but if you don't um like if you can't polish well i mean i know it's a lot of people like that you can use the kiss salon dip color and you can dip powder the nails and dip powder whatever color you want on on top that's a good tip for y'all i know y'all didn't know that <laughs> so i'm just gonna try to i purposely didn't drink any coffee so i can make this line straight all right so we're just gonna smooth this out and i'm gonna use my kiss lamp to cure yes you can use this lamp to cure gel polish but it does depend on like what gel you use and you know the times will vary but it's an led lamp you can cure this one usually doesn't take that long so we're just gonna go with the flow <laughs> all right i think that should probably be good white usually cures like pretty fast for me all right and i'm gonna do this on this nail so out of the uh two two sizes that comes in this kit like which one is your favorite like i, I do like them both but every time i'm like getting ready to choose like coffin just gets me so do y'all like the coffin or the the square This one is probably not going to be that perfect, but that's okay. I'm putting a crystal in the center, so it doesn't have to be, like, super, super perfect. Just, you know, the illusion of a fridge. <laughs> All right. This is fun. I don't remember the last time I did my nails live. <laughs> All right. So let me just zoom out a little bit. We're going to quickly cure this as well. And for my rhinestones, I'm using these. And they are from the Kiss Rhinestone Kit. I didn't even know they had, like, chunky crystal. Well, chunky rhinestones. So, yeah. I decided to use the clear today I just think it went really well with the French all right and you can use like glue or whatever you you know however you normally apply your crystal your rhinestones you can do that I just like to plop plop them on to my gel polish so I was just testing to see if it would work and that's how I put the rest of them on. So I'm just going to put gel top coat on top. I can't believe <laughs> how good these look with a fraction of the time. So let me go ahead and cut that on. If you don't have a problem pressing the button as soon as you get in there, you can do that as well. I just don't want to mess up my crystal placement all right and we're gonna go ahead and cure that y'all saw how easy and quick this was like <laughs> give that a good cure Ooh, oh these are so cute i have somewhere to go later on today so my nails are just gonna be so cute and it didn't take me all day yes <laughs> all right and we're just gonna do the same thing on here i love it when the design is like simple but it has a little pizzazz Right, and 
the same thing just pop that right there Ooh, I love this shape y'all this is pretty okay I'm just gonna bring that to you making sure everything is nice and cured when you do um, gel polish inside these lamps just kind of like rotate your finger from side to side just to make sure that you know the light is getting to all of your polish but yes I love how you can really just you know go to the store and then have salon nails like fraction of the cost and fraction of the time I am so here for it. Okay. We nice and cured. And I put a little bit of cuticle oil on earlier because this will look a little dry. So we're just going to dab a little bit on these two fingers. Don't want them to look too greasy, but we need them moisturized. But yeah, y'all saw how easy this was. And boom, nails complete. <laughs> so these nails are too cute. I'm not going to be taking them off anytime soon. But if you want to know how to properly remove these nails, I need you to read these in instructions, okay? Because the gel is, it really has a strong bond. So you never want to pull bite them off you don't want to rip them off because you will do some serious damage to your nails please don't do that <laughs> okay so you can either read this or you can go over to my youtube channel and check out my gel press video i do step by step on how to take these off and the main thing is you want to cut them down file them um, get some acetone soak cotton and put it on let it soak for 15 minutes until it gets soft scrape it off and if you got to do that twice then do that <laughs> until you get all the residue off. So that's pretty simple. And oh, how do y'all like how these turned out? I love them. I've been wanting to do like a, a, a simple French for a long time. And this was the perfect, perfect opportunity. So now that I'm done, um, we're going to bring Brit. We're going to bring Brittany back in. We're going to answer some of your questions that you put in the chat. And yeah, we're gonna, you know, answer some questions and have some cute, some cute nails. <laughs> Thanks for all your super helpful tips and tricks, Evie. I think that's gonna be super helpful to our consumers in using the gel press starter kit. Absolutely. We have had a lot of questions come in through the math throughout the masterclass, and we're gonna be answering a few of them live today. As a reminder, we do have some community managers from KISS in the chats. So be sure to keep asking questions and then they'll answer any that we miss. So our first question, Evie, is where can I buy the gel press starter kit? Well, if y'all was listening, I already told y'all that. But you can find it at KISSUSA.com or you can find it in stores at CVS. Amazing. Next question. Can I use the kit with any press on nails instead of the glue? It's recommended that you use this set with the clear tips that it comes with just because press on nails have a lot of like designs and stuff on them. So you really can't guarantee that it's going to cure fully. So we just recommend you use the clear tips that come with the kit. Great, thanks. The next question, can the LED light included in the kit be used to cure gel polish as well? Absolutely, as y'all saw, I cured these with it. So yes, you can definitely cure gel polish. Um, like I was saying, it does de depend on like the color and the formula. You may have to cure a little longer, but you know, you can definitely cure. It is an LED lamp. Our next question, how long do the nails last? The nails last up to 21 days. You can get three weeks of wear out of this. So yes, with proper application and prep. So make sure y'all paid attention to how I put it on. But yes, 21 days. Great. 
And our final question is, will this kit work if I use my own LED lamp? Absolutely. It cures under most LED lamps. It just depends on the brand, but you will have to, you know, see how long you have to cure. But you can definitely use it with, you know, your own LED lamp. Great. So that wraps up our question and answer period. Um, we are going to be popping up a coupon on screen, but we just wanted to thank you all so much for attending our first masterclass in the Nailed It With Kiss series. If you want to follow along with Long Hair Pretty Nails and try this kit yourself, you can purchase it today at kissusa.com for 20% off site wide. This, the code is Nailed It With Kiss, as you can see on your screen. And we are popping it in the chats as well. So if you'd like to copy and paste it, the option is there for you. Also, stay tuned for the next masterclass in our series, which will also be hosted by Long Hair Pretty Nails. We'll share another one of our top selling professional nail kits. Follow our KISS social channels to stay notified of the next masterclass. Evie, thank you for your time today, and we can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun. I cannot wait to do it again.